What is up guys, Kyle here with Carolina Vivariums and today we're going to be talking about poison dart frogs. I'm going to be answering some of the common questions about them and helping you decide whether the poison dart frog is the right pet for you. Now while they might not be the easiest pets to take care of, if you put in the work and you know what you're doing, these are going to make amazing pets. So let's get started. So because of the name poison dart frogs, there's a lot of misconceptions about these frogs. And I'm going to start off by answering the number one question I get when people find out I have poison dart frogs. And that is, how can you own poisonous frogs and isn't it dangerous? And the answer is simple. It's not dangerous at all and they're not actually poisonous. And here's why. Now poison dart frogs inhabit mostly this range in South America. And it's here that they have access to their natural food source, which when eaten, allow them to produce the toxins that give them the name poison dart frogs. Now in captivity, they don't have access to these specific foods, and therefore they're completely harmless. They have no way to produce the toxins that make them poisonous. And that makes them completely safe to own as pets. So now that we know they're completely safe, let me get into some of the reasons why they're such awesome pets to own. One of the reasons why I love poison dart frogs so much is because they come in such a wide range of colors and patterns. There's so many different ones to choose from, like this one, or that one, or that one, or even that one. And those are just a few that you can choose from. So no matter what your preference is, you're going to have an option to choose from. Now let's go on to the next reason. Alright, so now on to the final reason why I think you should... should can, that's better. Now on to the final reason why I think you should consider getting a poison dart frog and that is the enclosures. You can see behind me my poison dart frog rack which has four enclosures on it right now. All naturalistic vivarians which means all the plants and everything are live and growing. And that's how I discovered poison dart frogs in the first place is because I love designing these enclosures. Um, I've even designed two enclosures for the local zoo that I volunteer at. Uh, one of them being for dart frogs. And there's so many options. You, the sky is the limit when you're designing these enclosures. And it, that's a lot of the fun of owning reptiles and amphibians is designing these enclosures and making them naturalistic. Um, but here's some examples of vivarians. There's this one, and there's that one, and there's also that one. And these are just a few of the ones that I've designed. There's so many. If you look up vivariums that you'll find. And once you've designed their enclosure and you have them in it, there's not a lot of work take that was required to maintain these frogs. Um, you don't have to clean up after them. It all degrades and everything like that. Now you do have to maintain a certain humidity and temperature, um, but as long as you have the right equipment, that's pretty easy to do. And that's why these frogs make such good pets. They're not poisonous. You have so much variety to choose from, and the enclosures are so much fun to make and easy to maintain once you get it and set up. Uh, and so these are some of the reasons why I think you should look into getting a poison dart frog. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment below and I will get back and answer them. I will be doing a care video um, in the future about the specific care of poison dart frogs. But until then, thanks guys for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave a like down below. See you guys later.